Hello Aries, happy weekend to you. It's Saturday. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Let's do this universe. Please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries. For Aries, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for aries in their life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey hmm, interesting this one very strongly wants to show up as extra message for you oh my goodness the worst card in the whole deck in first position heartbreak three of swords you feel so heartbroken in your soulmate relationship this is overwhelming to you emotionally because first of all it's the worst card in the whole deck and it's in first position you feel overwhelmed with this deep emotional disappointment heartbreak yeah this was a serious relationship for you yeah so for those of you that were either married or planning to be married or living together this was a serious relationship for you this traditionally speaks of marriage but it could also mean you were planning to marry this person at some point uh, or were engaged already or lived with them or live with them you feel so heartbroken that this relationship is not working out you feel devastated actually yeah yeah, you see the difference between your energy, fabulous queen of pentacles, a queen, uh, and the best queen of all queens, queen of pentacles. You are solid. You are marriage material. They not. You see this? They are just a knight, knight of cups. So this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you and how they treated you. You view them as just a knight because that's how they behaved what is a night energy so night energy is someone who is coming and going not really committing in a healthy way not communicating effectively giving empty promises not listening not expressing emotions not showing you love just coming and going as they please yeah oh boy no wonder you're so heartbroken disappointed because you show up as a queen of all queens the best one whether you're male or female, shows me that you put a lot of energy, time, effort, love, care, work into this connection. And they didn't even meet you quarter of the way. Never mind halfway. Quarter of the way, they didn't even meet you. Look how beautiful your energy is. Honestly, you have too much to offer. Six of Wands with Queen of Pentacles to be in a wishy-washy relationship with anyone yeah you have too much to offer to be lowering your standards you should never settle for a relationship when you are of such high quality this is you shining at your work you're very good at what you do you are a pro at what you do people admire you for your skills for your talents for your diligent efforts your detail to work yeah i love it you know what's show us what's coming up for aries and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey you've been waiting patiently you've been so patient with this relationship with this person hoping that uh, if you're patient enough they're gonna get a message and see that this means a lot to you and eventually meet you halfway and reciprocate communicate effectively they haven't done so no and not only that they are setting you back financially in this person's behavior in your life is setting you back financially yeah you really try to make this work you don't really show on the outside how deeply heartbroken disappointed you are it's like you're holding it all inside yeah 
This is how they behave. So this person is not trying to hurt you on purpose. We're going to see in a few minutes what's going on with them. But that's how they are. This is their MO. This is their behavior or pattern in relationships. Coming and going as they please. Unbalanced emotionally. Not communicating effectively. Not committing. Not listening. Not expressing emotions. You see, this is a pattern. So they're not trying to hurt you on purpose. No. But this is what they used to. This kind of behavior. Yeah. Yeah, wow, you really, look at this. This card is showing up twice from two different tarot decks, so in the same spread. So this shows me you really were serious about this person and this relationship working out. You viewed them as lifetime commitment. You love this person a lot. Yeah, you still love them. You're showing up twice as a fabulous queen, whether you're male or female. But you see, you're showing up as Queen of Cups, which means you love them a lot on top of Three of Swords. That is why you're so heartbroken, because you you poured your heart and soul into this relationship. You really love this person. If you didn't love them, you wouldn't feel so disappointed and heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah, this is you knowing you're going to have to make a final decision. You're going to have to put your foot down and make a final judgment. You see this? But you want to make that decision not based on your emotions. You want to base your de final decision. You feel like you are um, uh, at the end of the road with this person. Yeah, like you're going to have to either go left or right, up or down. Like you cannot wait because they're just going to continue putting your life on hold. You know you are the one who's going to have to make a final judgment call on this. It's not going to be them. Yeah. But you don't want to make that decision with your heart because they're just going to keep getting away with this behavior. You want to make this decision with your judgment, your common sense, your logic. Oh my gosh, you've been through a lot with this person, through a lot of heartbreak. So some of you are actually married to this person. Look at this. This person caused you a lot of heartbreak. Yeah, a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. A lot of sleepless nights, tears. Yeah, this is you saying, no, I can't live like this. They're very slow to action. Extremely. you showing up twice as a queen. they showing up twice as just a knight, you see. So this person does not mean to hurt you. But the point is you got hurt. Yeah, because of their wishy-washy behavior in this connection with you universe please i can't wait to see in a minute what's going on with them universe please show us what's coming up for my fabulous aries oh my gosh they waiting to hear from you for you to uh, yeah for the third time they showing up as a knight you see this this person has no clue whatsoever how to offer a healthy balanced relationship they have no clue so they really are not trying to hurt you on purpose but you're getting hurt because they're so immature yeah because they're so irresponsible in their behavior mm, that's so sad yeah they they're trying to figure out how to communicate with you that's so sad let me see what's going on with them universe you know i don't sugarcoat you deserve to know the truth that's the only way to be in life honest no sugarcoating yeah people sugarcoat too much what is sugarcoating it's lying it's deception and what is that creation of karma so people need to learn how to be more honest direct yeah not waste time on nonsense universe please show us Especially where I live in this country. Oh my gosh, everybody's lying and sugarcoating and pretending. It's like you can't find real people anymore. That's why my circle of friends is so limited because I would rather have one or two friends than be surrounded by a group of many people who are just wasting my time and energy on their nonsense. You know, what's show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries is letting go of at this time. 
that Aries has been dealing with that showed up three times as a knight. Oh boy, I'm almost scared to see you. Yeah, you see? And their so-called friends are questionable characters. You see this? This is not good. Their so-called friends are, you see, demonic wings showing up here everywhere, are mm, giving them wrong advice about life and relationships, showing them wrong examples. They surround themselves with toxic people. Yeah, you see, this person is very guarded emotionally. They know that they're going to lose you if they don't show you some kind of improvement. Yeah, you see, this was a serious relationship. Yeah. Look, they recognize you for who you truly are. Solid. You see this? They realize your worth value. So how come they're not meeting you halfway? Look, for the fourth time, they're showing up as a knight. Very slow to action. Let's see. They don't want to lose you, but uh, they need to prove themselves to you through actions, not just give you pretty empty promises, words, apologies. Words mean nothing unless they backed up with consistent actions that are believable, right? Not just actions for a week or two or two months, Consistent actions, that's how you can judge a person, by their actions, not by what they promise you or tell you or how they sweet talk you or what gifts they give you now. Mm -mm. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries has been dealing with. Yeah, this person doesn't take life and relationships seriously at all. They've never been in a serious relationship that they acted uh, responsibly in, uh, that they took seriously. No, they used to wishy-washy relationships, coming and going with people who are with this kind of energy, who allow this kind of behavior. Because you are the best queen of all queens, queen of pentacles, you're going to find this behavior unacceptable it's going to turn you off emotionally it already did actually see they don't want to lose you oh there were some serious fights disagreements between you two you see this serious fights disagreements between you two yeah they wondering are you going to reconcile with them or is this truly over what concerns me uh right now is the fact that none of these nine cards is a suit of cups emotions feelings everything else is here but the suit of cups we see wands we see swords we see pentacles wow we see major arcanas hmm. but we don't see the suit of cups Let's shuffle really good. The universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. Yeah, they're very stubborn. Yeah, they like to be alpha. They like to be in control. They're not an emperor. This is just emperor's persona they like to hold on to so tightly. So it looks like they are in charge of this pack over here. Like they like to be admired by these people that they friends with that they hang out with the most yeah this person is not an emperor no they are a knight not even a king or queen they they are a knight pretending to be an emperor yeah this person can be ego driven um yeah likes to make decisions uh, based on what they feel they want they need yeah they may be very attractive, even successful at what they do, but when it comes to proving themselves in uh, interpersonal relationships in their private life, they don't do that for some reason. Yeah, there's a lot of family members involved in this, whether it's from your family or their family, uh, trying to be nosy, find out what's going on between you two. Be careful who you discuss your marital or relationships 
relationship problems with. Uh, you really shouldn't be discussing your relationship matters with anyone but your soulmate. And if you can't discuss it with them, either let them go or seek professional uh, counseling to help you. Um, but then both of you would need to go to counseling. And I seriously don't think this person is going to agree to it because they're showing up with very immature energy. Yeah. Yeah, be careful because some people are nosy. Yeah, you see, you feel out of balance emotionally because of this person's behavior in your life. And you feel out of balance like you are losing financially. This person's behavior is setting you back financially and emotionally. You feel drained. You feel unloved, unappreciated. <sighs> Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries has been dealing with? They're going to try to come towards you with solid offer, but they only holding that offer as a knight, not a king or queen. Yeah, this person is attractive, alluring, charismatic. They know how to draw people towards them, how to pull people towards them. They just don't know how to keep quality people in their life yeah this person is a charmer they're very drawn to you they respect you you're showing up again as a queen 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 they just showing up as a knight pretending to be an emperor this person realizes uh, they respect you a lot uh, more than ever because you're standing your ground you're pulling away from them you're not putting up with their behavior yeah which is unacceptable by the way um yeah, they respect you for it. They view you as powerful, independent, strong-willed, taking your power back, moving on with your life. Ooh, for the first time, they're showing up as a king. But my least favorite king of all kings, especially the way it's painted with the sword pointing down. Be careful with this person because they know how to sound believable to get what they want. They know how to use psychology to convince people to see their point of view. Yeah, be careful. Don't let them pull you in. Yeah, you're not going to. You have a lot of experience in this situation. You're not going to let them walk all over you. Yeah. You're meeting a new person. I'm so happy for you, Aries. You deserve a solid relationship. Yeah, where you feel loved, appreciated, and nurtured. Yeah, you're meeting a new person. Beautiful. You see this? Wow, so this new person is somebody who is marriage material, someone who's mature like you, someone who reciprocates, someone who expresses emotions, someone who communicates effectively. This is you shining again at your job or business. Beautiful. You're going to liberate yourself from some kind of craziness going on, some kind of crazy environment at your job or situation. Yeah, this is you. So there are some things being hidden from you on purpose at your job. Keep your eyes and ears open. Remember, one of the universal laws is that the truth will always come out. Yeah, the secrets will be coming to the surface sooner or later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aries, I'm proud of you. How resilient you are. Yeah. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as the world card. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the world card, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.